Hey guys, so today let's see how to draw cylinder based products. I'm Shutak and I welcome you guys in the designsketchbook.com for this 30 day tip challenge. So uh, I invite you to come every day on the blog for new tutorials. So I'm starting to get inspired by this tool, especially by the handle. And today let's draw with the Paper Mate Flare M. So I recommend this felt pen because it's actually very good to have a lot of fluidity in your drawings while you're not looking for perfection. So I start by looking this tool and then I will get inspired by it. If you, dis um, if you decompose it, actually you feel that this is like similar to a cylinder base. So basically a cylinder is about ellipses that are connected but what we are doing here is that we are going to draw with ellipses of different sizes. So I draw the axis first and then I got to draw some ellipses all along and then I just connect them with the curves that I want. Simple right? So don't worry if it's a bit little too fast right now, I'm going to decompose it by step. Make sure that your ellipse is at 90 degrees from the axis and the uh, ellipse as well. Think that the very long axis is like what we call the minor axis, is your symmetry axis as well. So let's recapitulate right here. So this is the minor axis, this very long line. And this is also the symmetry axis. Like if you can take any object around you, a pen, a cup, a bar, a baseball bat, or anything which is which has a cylinder base, has this axis as a symmetry axis, no matter how you turn around. And this major axis here, which is at 90 degrees, is actually <laughs> the longest part of this ellipse. This is a minor, the shortest part. And this is the major, which is the longest part. Dun, 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 dun. Right here. And this is at 90 degrees. So on my first sketch, I was not exactly at 90 degrees, maybe like 87 or something, 86. <laughs> but try to, when you use a fill pen, fill it and try to improve along the way by iterating. Let's keep going right here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So what we saw is step one. We draw the axis first. Here we go, the first axis. Then step two. Okay, let's redraw the axis and then we are going to add the ellipses. Up, here we go ellipses right here for the step two so you can draw some different sizes of them you play as you wish here we go and then on the third part we are going to connect them so three create the form so this is axis then the ellipses right here so take Take a pen and draw with me and feel free to press pause anytime. And then we connect with the curves that I want and try to make the two curves symmetrical. Mm -mm -mm. So remember to start light and then you bolt along the way. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. I check my axis, minor and major axis but they are well at 90 degrees. Here I clean a bit of my nib because it gets a bit dirty. <laughs> so I want to add you add something to know about this ellipsis, something very essential on top of all these steps, something that you need to know about cylinders. So basically the top cylinders, the top ellipse of the cylinders and the bottom ellipse of the cylinders, they have something particular. Can you see? So the top one is thinner and the bottom one is thicker. 
that's something that is really important when you're going to draw um, cylinders or cylinder based products. Thinner on top, thicker below, and whatever is in between is also in between in terms of thickness. So it's actually something which is gradual. Think like if you have a coin in front of you and then you try to rotate, to incline it and you will see that the surface of the ellipse will be more or less visible. More it go below of your eyes, more surface you will see. So the ellipse will be thicker. Make sense? And I have done a tutorial about the coins, about cylinders that you can see on the description. And then we add a little link on top right of the screen for you guys. Dun, 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 dun. So remember to draw smooth. Whether you draw with a ballpoint pen or with a felt pen, draw with a very smooth flow. You want to let it go. Don't look for perfection for now. So I didn't speed up this video, it's speed one. I would like to ask you guys if you like it, if you prefer to speed up or not, or if you prefer to have a tutorial like that with my comments and description of the tutorials along the way with speed one. Here we go, let's do some more forms. So once again, draw with me. You don't have to be perfect, you just let it go. And for the ellipses, rem remember to move your whole arm when you draw. Don't rest your elbow on the table. Move your whole arm. Let's do some more. <laughs> Let it go. Da -da -da -da. And then you choose about the curve. It's the C curve, the S curve. This curve has an S shape. <laughs> So whenever you draw curves, if your curves get complex, try to divide them into simple ones, like a C shape or the S shape. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So here in my mind, I spot where is the most white on the ellipse. And then when I draw the curves, I know that this is the widest part. It's like I'm pulling out on the left and I'm pulling on the right. Is a little mind trick that you can use when you draw. Mm -hmm. Here we go, let's do some more. And as you can see, it's starting to overlap. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So when you draw the ellipses, if you want to have a better visualization of them, try to think that every ellipse is embedded in a square in its perspective. Um, if you see, like let's say you have a box, a squarish box, whatever volume will be inside would be a cylinder. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. This is the kind of tailing that we can get if you feel that this, would, this cylinder shape would be more into cubic. Take your time. <laughs> I like to draw some a big sphere and then drawing multiple layer ellipses along this sphere. So once again, the top ellipse is thinner, the one below is wider. Okay? So that's also a very good way to draw sphere very fast. 
<laughs> so let's carry on here with some more ellipses. <laughs> and here, what I want to do between these two ellipses is to draw like a spring. Try it. <laughs> this spring actually is going to give you a volume. So whenever I'm doing this spring, I'm doing gradually from thin to thick. Okay? Try to feel it. So do some spring, from thinner to wider, from thinner to thicker. Try some different width. And then you got a volume. So it's like the spiral technique. Dun, 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 dun. So you can train, draw as many as you want. You can fill full paper. And don't hesitate to draw on the back of your paper as well. To use them as draft paper. Let's do some contour line right here. <laughs> the contour line helps you to, to have a better visualization of the volume itself. If you want to learn more about the contour lines, I let me add you another uh, tutorial, link of tutorial in the description as well. So when you draw actually in perspective, it's good to draw all these construction lines. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. So this one is some additional details that um, when you have a better understanding of perspective you can play with and you always draw in transparency and this is how you can actually build up and solidify your fundamental of sketching. So if you want to learn more about the very basics of perspective, I invite you to download the designer starter kit. Um, same, I will put the link in the description below as well. This is actually where I'm going to give you step by step how to draw in perspective. And also your body posture, the right one, and also how to do straight lines and so on. The very basic form, but so essential. So remember that an ellipse in perspective in the volume is actually from top view, a circle in a square. Think of a cup inside the box. Okay? <laughs> or a coin as well. Here we go. So all details on this little shape here, volume here of the cylinder, in the link in the description. It's something a bit additional. <laughs> Alright, remember this surface here, cylinder is inside the square, in perspective. This is what you need to keep in mind. If you know that, you will be able to draw them in any angle. Square and circle are best friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the circle becomes an ellipse in perspective. There we go. So this is many, many volumes. You have been achieved this volume in a very simple way and for all the construction lines, once again, you can go into the link. So here we are going to do some additional drawings, a fun one, so the spring one. 
So try this. Draw some spring and remember the top is thinner, the one below is wider. Draw big with the paper with your paper made flat. M pen. <laughs> and then you draw the volume around. Can you feel the volume? Try many of them. Imagine that you got an imaginary axis that you follow. This is pretty fun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. Thin on top and wider and thicker below. You're pulling. Feel that your hand movement, your arm movement is actually getting more spread into the thickness. And this is what we call the foreshortening. It's like when your cylinder shape tend to be more in front of you. It tend to be look like shorter. Mm, for example, someone who is standing his arm in front of you, and if he's going to be horizontal, he's going to have different length from, let's say you're bending your arm from horizontal to, toward you in front. The arm will look shorter when it goes toward you. So try to draw as many as you want. Just have fun. Can be messy at start, don't worry. <laughs> Keep going, use some draft paper. Take some newspaper if you want. Here is what I do, I draw with contour line. To draw like a vase, like inside is a hole. I can choose if the top surface is like a cap, is full, or is like a hole. Here is like a hole because I'm dry, I'm drawing the contour lines going inside. Empty inside. Okay, let's draw another one. If it's like a cup, it's full. <laughs> I'll draw this contour line. Here we go. This contour line here or the actually the XYZ axis. Here we go here for the hole. Like a vase. That's why I like with product design sketching is that whenever you draw you can sketch some form, you can communicate some form very fast in just few lines. You don't have to spend hours doing some shading. Just draw some few lines and you got it. So the spiral is like a wheel pull though. <laughs> We could call this a wheel pull technique. There we go. <laughs> like a tornado. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So draw as many as you want. Just have fun with this, all these techniques right here. I'm going to add some extra uh, video here on the link for you guys to follow up for the, to get more details on it. So here remember, if you want to add something like a tag, follow these lines all around to keep the roundness. <laughs> and see you on the next video to see more. There we go for the next sketch of the next tip of the challenge, the 30 day challenge. See you tomorrow.